In this video, I will share how I passed the GCP Professional Cloud Architect Certification exam in the first attempt. I collect my learning path, study materials, and test experience immediately after the exam, so I hope the information I provide here may help others earn this one of the most valuable cloud certifications. After I got my certification, the first question I got from others is uh, how difficult the exam is. The short answer is uh, very difficult, but it is manageable. Let's take a look at the exam overview on Google Professional Cloud Architect Certification page. At the time of recording this video, the GCP Professional Cloud Architect exam is a two-hour exam with 50 questions. All questions are multi-choice and multi-select. I took the test remotely. The questions in the exam focused on the real scenario-based user cases and your hands-on experience in GCP. Take some time to go through this page on exam guide. Review the sample case studies and other results for this exam. From the difficult level standpoint, I think the exam is more difficult than AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate exam I had before. But I feel it at the same level as AWS Certified Data Analytics Specialty Certification exam. Now, let's talk about the learning path and the study materials for this exam. There is no prerequisites for this exam, but GCP expects you have hands-on designing and managing solutions using the GCP and software development experience for this exam. You can find many good structured online courses for this exam, Take the free trial opportunity of those courses to find a one fit with your learning style. At the time of recording this video, GCP provides free training courses for its certification exams. After you click register now, you will go to the certification journey page Click the Register Now button. Select the certification you will tag in the registration form. After you submit this uh, registration, you will receive an email from Google with uh, Coursera and uh, QuickNaps offers to help you prepare for your certification exam. It is a six-week preparation for the exam with one month free access. If this offer is no longer available when you are viewing this video, you can go to the Coursera directly to search for this course. The course's name is Cloud Architecture with Google Cloud Professional Certificate. The course will provide you comprehensive information on GCP and hands-on labs in the Quick Labs. There are six courses in this professional certificate, with the information such as core infrastructure, foundation, core services, design, and process. The last one, preparing for the certification example course, is really helpful. It provides good architecture solutions for sample case studies and the sample example questions with the answers. So take the advantage on this course. The second thing you should prepare for this exam is hands-on experience on Google Cloud Platform. This exam will expect you can set up and run GCP services not only through the console, but also use the command lines like gcloud command, gsutil command, and kubectl command. 
You can get the hands-on experience from the hands-on laboratories in the certification course or practice with the Google Cloud free tier. Go to the Google Cloud documentation page. You can start the free tier by clicking Get Started for Free button or clicking the Google Cloud Platform free tier. Two sections in this page you should pay attention. You should definitely practice them before your exam. One is in the top user cases with the detailed instructions, both on the console and the command lines. The other one is the best practice with the architecture diagram, tips, and detailed explanations on the solution services. Now let's touch on the software development experience you should need for this exam. This exam does have some questions on software development, such as software develop, development life cycle, continuous in integration and continuous deployment, CICD, testing, and resilience. You should also understand the data protections and the regulatory compliance with GCP, for example, the PC. PCI DSS, uh, GDPR, HIPPR, and uh, COPAR. Please click uh, those links in my blog to get a deep dive on those topics. I also collected the GCP Professional Cloud Architecture Certification Learning videos. Uh, those list is from Google Cloud Next. If you don't have time to read all the GCP documentation, feel free to review those videos before your exam. Let me also share my lessons learned from my online exam experience. You will receive either pass or fail at the end of the exam. There is no official passing score from Google. It will take at least 7 to 10 days for Google to evaluate your remote test result before Google releasing your certification information. During my exam, I didn't, say, didn't see any long description questions like I saw in the AWS CDA exam. So don't rush in to complete the exam. You should have enough time to read and understand each question. I had the question of GCP case studies at the beginning of the exam. Those questions were really hard and around 24% of the exam. In order to not get stressed out at the beginning, spending more time learning GCP case studies. So you should have the best solution architecture, the faster solution such as the lift shift solution and the solution for the future growth ready before the exam. If you are stumbled on something, don't spend too much time on it. Just flag those questions for letter review and select your best guess. Even most cloud providers using the similar concepts, but don't confuse GCPs with others. You should get a deep understanding of core concepts like Google Computing among the GCE, GKE, GAE, and the functions, networking such as VPC node balancing and the network connection, cloud IAM, storage such as GCS and disks, and database such as the cloud SQL, Spanner, Firestore, Bigtable, and BigQuery. I also provide my sample um, last minute cheat, uh, cheat sheet for the GCP Professional Cloud Architect Certification exam. Take a look on the last minute cheat sheet and hope that helps you. Now, this is all my experience, and I hope it will help you to study more effectively and good luck on your exams.